Hello, my name is B. Today we are reviewing the Halloween Oracle here. The Halloween Oracle. I hope you like my new setup here. I needed a change. And also, um, I think it's better if the cards are standing up, you know? So this is by Stacey DeMarco. This is not my first. This is not my first deck um, by her at all. So check out my other Stacey DeMarco uh, um, deck it's gonna be in my deck review I have lots of deck reviews so this is gonna go right in my playlist so let's get into this so I like this little book so you know we this can help you learn more about Halloween the whole the whole act of trick-or-treat truth or dare a little about the scariest night of the year so we have a little look at that oh my gosh that this is in the cards as well so you know I have a little history here and how to use the deck we have some spreads here, which I think is pretty cool. We have the Halloween three card draw, which I think I might do soon. The jack-o'-lantern divination. We have all these different, you know, what's it called? Uh, like a, a, a way to break in your cards and connect with them more. So many people love to dedicate their card decks and to make the decks cleanly theirs. Allow me to suggest the following dedication. So kind of like a spell or, you know, set, setting your intention, bonding. And I, you know what? I actually want to make my own video of how I bond with my decks and how I break them in, how I cleanse them and all that good stuff. The words that I say over and over to kind of make them mine, like giving them my own good luck. So we have, yeah, look, the information for each of the cards. We have the keywords here. We have the word keywords a little bit a little blurb here and then we have more information more of like you know a little story to go with each card which is I think a great idea so I feel like if I ever need something to read I don't really watch or read books that much for my cards I always go based on pictures and then for a boost I go with the keywords um, and then you know if I ever need something to read if I want to like especially for Halloween when Halloween's coming up definitely gonna pull this book and also just to help me you know learn more like hearth I want to learn more about the hearth card you know uh, there might be something else in here, uh, maybe Cauldron, uh, Ancestors will be a good good, uh, bu a good insert to, I mean not insert, a little blurb to read upon, read on. The Barnbrack, I don't know anything about that, so that would be perfect. So um, let's see, look at that beautiful black cat. Alright, so let's get into this deck. If you like this deck at all, uh, let me know in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. If you have it already, let me know what your review looks like, I can, you know, check it out and leave my... my, my, my my thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I'm going to have this links below. Thank you, my father figure. Purchased this deck along with my other many decks that I have. I just love decks and I tell him about them and he buys them for me. So thank you so much. I can't wait to dive into this. I'm going to do a general reading with this lovely love with this lovely deck here. So please, please stay, stick around. Please stick around. Don't be shy. Hopefully you like this new setup. So let's see. I will say that... Um, they are a little bit glossy, but they, sorry, let me put my crystal here. They are a little glossy, but that doesn't stop them from being shuffled. I mean, they're not too glossy. There is a little bit of friction here. There's not slippery slopes here. Uh, but they do have like a little shimmer, which I love. I love the backing. Look at the backing. Just like little Halloween things. Look, bats, pumpkins. You have the go 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 goblins, the cats, the broomsticks. Uh, yeah, the pumpkins. So, oh my gosh, I would have loved to see a little witch. Oh yeah, we do have a witch hat. Yes, score! All right, so let's, oh, and the broomstick to go with that witch. So I just think it's beautiful. Yes, I have an Amazon affiliates link if you are interested in this. I earn a small percentage. It's very important to say that when we're doing these, um, when I'm, you know, recommending my little Amazon shop. It's always nice to say that we are affiliated. So, you know, we're a small percentage. It's probably like, well, I don't know, 5%, 2% or something. 2%. Um, I, don't, I forget. Don't quote me on that. But it's a really small percentage, and it does... You know, it does um, come towards me. So I thank you in advance if you, ch if you decide to do that. So let's get into this. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to do a, a general reading. And then I'm going to do a reading for the lovely Stacy. And yeah, so you get to, you know, have two readings here. Spider. Community and web weaving. So I, I will just see, just read the one wording. And then um, you can read that. You can pause it if you want to read that. Eternal love. Scrying. These cards are just beautiful. Maybe I can like zoom in, zoom in a little bit. Make sure that I'll zoom in so you can see better. All right, winter. We have seasons in here. We have oh, all sorts of beautiful things here. A lot of skulls, I do have to say. Skull of stars. So hopefully you're not too 
um, you know, overwhelmed by seeing a lot of skulls or too, too scared. But, you know, this is the Halloween Oracle, so, yeah. Lifting the veil between the worlds every night. I like that. And even the box is all shimmery. I like this box. It's very, look at that. You can see, like, everything just <laughs> shining through. Experience the scariest night of the year every night. Unleash your inner, mo inner monster and trick-or-treat your way into a connection with the most magical and scary night of the year. Halloween! I like to say Hallow's Eve. I like to be fancy with my words sometimes. Owl. Ghost. And, you know, you can do a lot of work with this. I already used these for my, my uh, readings. Uh, I'm sorry, my uh, live streams. I'm going to incorporate these into my readings. Um, my recorded readings, not my live stream readings. These are very, very, very deep, I have to say. Ghost, regret, trick or treat. Midnight. You can do so much. You can do shadow work, you know. You're trying to get to the bottom of, of, of a problem. You totally use this deck if you want to. You can use it in, in conjunction with, like, another uh, shadow worky deck. <laughs> I would suggest, like, reading. What's a Heal yourself reading cards. Um, that one is very deep. The Raven's Wands, perhaps. Maybe. That one's a little lighter. Graveyard. Um, so, yeah. I love this witch, by the way. My gosh. Oh, my goodness. The Earthly Weaver of the Worlds. Graveyard. Skull of Light. Illumination. Vampire. The Underworld. Let me know if you like any of these at all. Dawn. So we have animals, we have skulls, we have witchy, thing, witchy things, everything Halloween you can think of. Although I would say that this red card, no, I wouldn't say that that resembles anything Halloween to me. Uh, I mean, anything Halloween-like to me. I don't know about you. When I think of red cardinals, I don't really think of Halloween. I just think of them being in the woods and nature, my own business, <laughs> all year round. Not just Halloween, but that's just me. Zombie control. I was singing a song with this. In your head, in your head. Yeah. Zombie, zombie. I did a live stream with, and that one came out clear as day. I really like this one. I love all, like, you know, uh, zombie movies. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Lady de los Muertos, Acceptance, Acceptance and Equality. I love, love, love this. Just her pose, her, her, her she looks like she has attitude, her makeup, her roses in her hair, her fan, her lacy sleeves here, beautiful. Kind of reminds me of my friend Tara from Kittens, Weights, and Tara. We do collaborations monthly. And she dressed up just like this, and I'm like, girl, that's your card right there. Cauldron. Apple. Look at that. Risk and reward. <laughs> Black cat. Skeleton. And we're going to do like a little close up on one of the cards. I will. Skull of Darkness. And you know, I did see somebody edge these cards, trim them, you know, right before the gold. They trimmed them, made them smaller, and then edged them, cut, you know, cut the corners to make them, cur you know, rounded again. And then colored it with black, and I think it came out beautiful. I will, I think I will um, edge my my um, my cards. I don't know if I will cut them, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Look, we have oranges. We have golds here. The borders, the veil, barmbrack. Never heard of that before. Yep, I know. You're probably thinking, what? Ancestors. Look at that. I love that. You okay, Bubba? The lamp. Joy. Oh my goodness gracious. Skull of flowers. Invisibility. I like that a lot. We all should be iridescent. Transparent. Authentic. Invisible. No. I would say, yeah, it's. I think we should all be our authentic selves. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? Hopefully you can see that. Werewolf, exploring wildness. Death. Mummy. Which is funny, because we have death, moth, right? The internal cycle begins here, which change, and then the mummy change. Wow. I would say for this card, I don't know about change, though. Um, I'm going to say, like, if I could change this one, myself, I'll change. Um, when I see the mummy, I think of, like, 
uh, keeping things under wrap, like you hiding yourself, you know, you hiding your gifts, hiding your, hiding your talents, hidden. Look at that moon, hidden, hidden. I would say like hidden secrets or just, yeah. I don't know about change though. That's just my opinion. I mean, everybody has their own interpretations for their cards. You know, I didn't make this card. This is Stacy's interpretation, so she's allowed to do whatever she wants. But for me, I would say, you know, hidden, something hidden with this big fat moon. Hearth. Happiness in our hearts and homes, especially since we already have a change card with this moth here. But then we have death too, so death, change, change, transformation. So this I would leave to something else, but that's just me. Hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. I like this a lot. Fireplace, yes. Candle magic. Forgiveness. Alright, so let me do a little shuffle shuffle magic. And I'm going to do a collective reading for the lovely people watching this video. Thank you for being here. If you like this deck, like I said, let me know. If you have it, I would love to comment on your video. So let's see. Collective reading. What do you need to hear right now? Timeless collective reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you need to hear right now? What do you need to hear right now? Thank you, thank you. We have ha Barmbrack, Sweetness and Synergy. I don't like to really use books with my oracles because then I use them as crutches and then I can't really explore with my own intuition, which I should do right now, but I will give you a little, uh, you know, book reference so that you can see what the book does for the reading or for you if you choose to go by the book. So it's a beautiful spread or beautiful reading for the lovely Stacy. What's a nice card to go with Stacy's energy? Stacy's energy, thank you. Come positively, love and light, so you can get us with detection. Stacy's reading, thank you, thank you. Wow, the card that we ended last with. <laughs> All right, so let's pull the book to go with this barn bracket. So what do we see so far? I see pumpkins. They're illuminated. They're looking a little, um, yeah, they've been carved. Uh, they're brought to life. And then we have this sweet little uh, sweet potato or yam uh, dish here. So maybe, uh, and look, it's, it's exploding, it's like open. So maybe this is uh, some, some, some sweet, I don't know, you're, some, somebody planted seeds, right? And then now it's ripe, they're ready, ready to be eaten. So you're reaping what you've sown, lay, uh, laying in the bed you've, you've made for yourself, um, enjoying the fruits of your hard, hard, hard work, your hard labor. So is that a pumpkin pie? That may be a pumpkin pie, a sweet potato, yams, tomato tomato right no I'm just kidding they're not the same are they I know that yam sweet potatoes they can't they tend they tend to taste the same don't they I think so Barnbrack, success I'm sorry sweetness and synergy a pea a cloth a coin a ring and stick within a loaf of speckled sweetness slice it and eat it a glimpse of my fate's completeness not quite a quake not quite a cake and not quite a bread Barnbrack is a sweet loaf Larger than a typical bread loaf, baked with flour, sugar, salt, and dried fruits such as raisins. Ooh, this looks so good. The making of barmbrack is an Irish tradition that still stands around Samhain, Samhain, Halloween. All right, let's see. Uh, so that's like, okay. A little uh, information about this. Okay. When you pull the barmbrack card, it indicates a curiosity to know what is ahead, but it's important to balance that with the no, with the now. After all, we have the tools to change our future should we choose. The sweet synergy of Barnbrack, all the ingredients including the objects are more complete and powerful together than they are individually, should encourage you to seek your own sweet spot. Oh, find the sweet spot in life. Okay, I like that. That's very unique. I like that a lot. And forgiveness, I will not use my, my card for that. I'm in my book. So forgiveness, reducing burden. Uh, maybe you need to like, be, maybe... Um, not be so hard on yourself and just forgive don't forget but forgive move on and don't beat yourself up you know whoever's watching this oh, this is for Stacy actually so Stacy I don't know if you've been through some some you know some things here if you've been here and back with you know problems or struggles or challenges maybe you know learn to forgive and move on or maybe write down all your thoughts your fears your stress your struggles into a piece of paper put it and burn it throw it out I think writing is very therapeutic, so maybe learn to forgive yourself or forgive others. Maybe you are holding a burden or a grudge over somebody. Maybe you need to let it go and just move on. And look, maybe things will blossom because of it. You'll heal, and you'll see maybe other doors opening for you since you, you know, close one chapter and you open another another chapter. More opportunities for you will 
flourish. Look at that. Her hand is growing a flower. I'm just going to say, say a, her hand is blossoming a flower. That's right. It's blooming in our hands. You have the power to manifest something beautiful. You just have to let go and forgive. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, this link will be down below. I love this box. Nice box. It's nice keepsake box. It's orange inside. Stacy, this is not this is not my first um, deck from hers. Like I said, check out my deck reviews. Lots of decks in there. Another one from Stacy, and I'll say I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time, and let me know if you would like to see deck modifications. I will be modifying a lot of decks. This might be one of them, maybe. And yeah, take care. You have a beautiful, lovely day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.